All right, we are ready for lesson eight vocabulary. So in this video, we're just gonna go over what the words are and what they mean pretty quickly. Um, if this is the first time that you've seen them, uh, or if you have already seen this video and we've already talked about them together, but you just this is how you're choosing to study today, that's fine. Um, but we're gonna go through all 15 words for the next couple weeks. So the first word is assemble. And assemble means to bring together into group, to gather, or to put or fit together. You could think of assembling furniture. You could assemble a puzzle. You could assemble Legos. Um, you may have even heard the phrase, some assembly required. Assemble just means to put together, to bring together. Banquet. So a banquet is a large meal for many people or a feast. Um, so like Thanksgiving could have been a banquet. Maybe if you have a lot of people over at Christmas, that could be a banquet. Um, Thanksgiving. So whether it's our Thanksgiving or the first Thanksgiving, how the pilgrims and the Native Americans celebrated, that could be an example of a banquet. Cargo. Um, a loaded, a load carried by a plane or a ship. Um, actually, as we get into uh, more of our colonies for social studies, we'll definitely hear about cargo ships, or you may have even heard of cargo planes. Cargo is uh, what is being carried in those planes. So all the, the goods that are being shipped from one place to another, the things that are in that plane or that ship, that's cargo. Cask. So it's a barrel-shaped container, especially one for holding liquids. Really, a cask is, is another word for barrel in a lot of ways. Celebrate. I'm hoping we already know what this one is. So to honor something in a special way, you could celebrate lots of things in your life. But a celebration is just um, honoring something. To decrease. So it becomes smaller or less. Uh, that one I think we should probably know too. Decrease, getting smaller. Desperate. Uh, reckless because of feelings of despair. So, so serious as to be almost hopeless. So if you are desperate, that means you are at the very last attempt at whatever it is you will do. Nothing can stop you from getting what you need or what you want if you're um, at a desperate time. Edible. Edible means that it's safe to be eaten. Any food item, something that can be eaten. So as long as it's edible, it means it's okay to eat. Frivolous. I like this word a lot. Frivolous means not serious or important, kind of silly, which I feel like the word frivolous kind of uh, matches that. It kind of sounds a little bit silly to me. A harvest, um, that's a gathering of crops during a season, the quantity of crops gathered, or to really just gathering crops. So we harvest crops when they are ready to be um, either cut down, picked, whatever it means. Um, Thanksgiving was a harvest celebration. We normally think of harvesting crops in the fall, um, but crops can be harvested really at any time of the year, but uh, it just means gathering crops. Hew. This one's kind of different. So it means to chop down or cut with blows from an axe, to cut or shape the blows of an axe or a similar tool. So like um, you could hew a, uh, a tree. So you could cut down a tree using an axe or maybe um, chopping wood. It's, it would be another way to kind of say chopping something. Hostile. So if something's hostile, it's very unfriendly or it's like an enemy. So you could have a hostile relationship with um, uh, a country could have a hostile relationship with another country. Or you could use that to describe um, a person. It's kind of a character trait. It's an adjective. So it's describing something unfriendly or enemy-like. Pledge, just like we have the Pledge of Allegiance, it means to make a promise. So if you're pledging allegiance, that means that we are pledging um, loyalty to our country. But you could make a pledge to a person, a country, uh, an organization, a belief, right? Uh, prosper. If you're prosper, that means that you are successful, especially in terms of money. So when you're prospering, that means that you're making lots of money or it just means that you're becoming very successful. And then finally, a task. A task is some sort of work that needs to be done. So for example, studying your vocabulary words is a task that needs to be done. So this video can be watched at any time up until we take our vocabulary quiz. This is a way that you can study if you would like. So you're welcome to rewatch this. Or you can always go into um, the Canvas module that has the Quizlet cards and you can study using that as well.